Now, having just cleaned the main mirror of my 8 inch Ritchie Christian telescope, it's time to exchange this rather disappointing focuser, the stock one that came with the telescope, with something a little bit more solid without all these plastic mechanic parts. So, I'll just put this aside and maybe the scope as well. And it is time for a little unboxing. So this is the focuser that I'll be putting on instead. This is the Bada Steel Track RT focuser. There are two other versions you can get. One is called the Bada Steel Diamond Steel Track SC, and that's for Schmidt Cascoin telescopes. And there is also one for Newton telescopes. This one is meant for refractors and it comes with a 68 mm thread here, which will fit many refractors directly. Um, but this adapter ring can be exchanged and I have got myself this one, which is a 90 mm adapter that will fit my telescope. So I'll have to get this one off and uh, put that one on instead. But uh, that's not a very hard operation because there are just some nylon screws around the perimeter here which needs to be loosened and then it should come right off. These nylon screws are meant to enable this the focuser to rotate but I will not be using that so I'll probably just tighten them. There we go. It's just a dovetail bound here. So the other one comes on here. So the other one will be mounted like this. And now it's just a matter of uh, basically screwing the focuser into the tube here and then it can be rotated in place. Having installed my new focuser, um, it's very important now that this focuser is being aligned correctly with the optical axis of the main mirror. And that's what I'm going to show you now. To help me find the optical axis of the primary mirror, I have fashioned a little tool. It is nothing more than a LED flashlight and a piece of cardboard with a small hole drilled through it. And then I've made this crude, crude fixture here on the, on the back with some tape. This gives me a target with a small bright light and a screen for the reflection to project upon. Um, this is just a convenience, it uh, gives me a focusing rail. Um, you can do exactly the same with a stack of books on a tabletop and just slide it back and forth. I use this for convenience because I have it. At twice the focal length of the primary mirror, light coming from that distance will be focused back onto the screen and create an image of the light source. As you can see here, if I rack the focuser back and forth, or the focus rail back and forth, I can focus the light here. And now it becomes easy to find the exact optical axis of the primary mirror. All I have to do is get the mirror image to exactly coincide with the hole where in the card where the light is coming out. And I use the telescope mount to do this. Like, like so. The laser in the focuser is just sending a beam straight out of the telescope, telling me exactly where the focuser is pointing. And it now becomes a question of changing the pointing of the focuser with this focus tilter to make the dots coincide with each other. 
As we can see, the laser dot is a bit higher and a bit to the right. So I will dial it down a bit with this screw. And it looks like it needs to go a little bit to the left. Maybe a little bit up. There we are. Now the laser should be pointing exactly along the axis of the primary mirror, which is what we want. So now I'll just fix the screws here, the push screws, so that the tilter does not change its position again. Now it's time to reinstall the secondary mirror in the telescope. And I will uh, start by placing the secondary mirror inside the telescope so that it's ready for mounting. Taking care not to let anything fall onto the primary mirror. Next, I'll need to install the screw and the spring which hold the mirror in place, like so. And then the mirror should be attached. I hope you can see all this. It's a question of having three hands. There we go, and I'm trying to install it in the same orientation it had before, so that the wires for the heater are coming out on the top, following this vein. There, that should do it, nice and tight. This cable I will fix in place at a later time. It's not really important right now. Now with the laser switched on, it is a question of adjusting the primary mirror so that the laser in the focuser is hitting the center of the secondary mirror. We're now watching the reflection of the secondary mirror as it reflects in the primary mirror. The final piece of adjustments that I can do here is the alignment of the secondary mirror, and that involves a little bit of camera trickery, which I will show you now. Because I need to be at both ends of the telescope at the same time, watching this target of the laser, that's the return of the laser from the secondary mirror. I'm using a little bit of Wi-Fi enabled camera here to allow me to watch what's going on from the other end of the telescope while I'm making the adjustment to the bolts on the secondary mirror here. I'm just making small adjustments here to see where the dot is moving. There we are, getting closer. Needs to go up a bit. You have to turn the screws a little bit after in turn and see where the point is going. I think we're getting closer now. There. I think this is as close as I, as I can possibly get it with this laser technique. I hope you've enjoyed this little video showing how you can configure your own Ritchie Critchian telescope yourself. That's all for now. Kitchen out.